Hi, beautiful. Today, people are gonna try and bleach their hair platinum blonde. Let's watch some people demolish their hair. Up first, we have a video by Angel Akia. I want to dye my hair platinum blonde as well as my brows. Get me out of this box. Why don't you just do your eyelashes too? I'm kidding. Don't do that because I know if I say that, somebody will do it. Don't bleach your eyelashes. You will probably go blind if you get the bleach in your eye. I know the proper way to color hair. I was in cosmetology school. Oh, she was a cosmetology student. I'm expecting a lot from you then. My standards went from here to here. You're gonna need your BW2 bleaching powder, 40 volume developer, 20 volume developer, and Vaseline. Oh. BW2 and 40 Von Developer is a toxic combination. Definitely gonna lighten her hair, and it's most definitely gonna break off her hair. That's something I would use if the person had extremely resilient, thick, coarse hair that was black, and they needed that bright blonde, I might go in with the BW2 and the 40 volume. But otherwise, I'll probably stay away from it. And I would definitely put some kind of bond boosting, bond building in there, you know? Something to save the hair. So this is the buffo. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And let's analyze her hair real quick. Okay, we got a lot going on here. We got curly hair. We all know by now why curly hair is a little scary for bleach because it's dry. Those curls get fucked up by the bleach. <laughs> Other than that, her hair looks pretty healthy. I'm worried about these edges. They look like they have seen better days. I'm sorry. I feel like the edges are a little bit sparse. I'm worried for you. Let's get into it. Her hair's on the thinner side and fine. So thin, fine, bleach. It's just like, mm. they hate each other, eat each other alive, literally. And it just ends up being a back and forth game where the fine thin hair ends up losing every time. We'll see how the duel goes today, but I don't have much hope. So right here, I'm detangling my hair and I'm going really gentle because if you go too hard, your scalp will burn. And you wanna make sure you're very careful with this process. Okay, hold on a second. When we're coloring really coily hair, such as hers, I would recommend going in with blow dryer with a comb attachment on it and just getting some of that curl out. This will make your sectioning a whole lot easier and ensure that that lightener seeps through every layer of the hair and there's no clumps of curls anywhere around the head. It just really helps the lightener glide on there. I did my ends first and then my roots last and I started on my left side because I told you I had the half and half and this is the side where I did put the box dye at most. Oh, she has box dye on half of her hair. <laughs> she has box dye on her hair too. I did skip over that part. We missed some vital information there, but now we get it. We get the full story. She's fine. But good luck. <laughs> so I started at my ends. Once I got good and done with that, I went ahead and did the roots. I want to say it maybe took me 15 to like 18-ish minutes. No. <laughs> This is the thing that I've been saying a lot lately. This is like my new phrase. It used to be like, don't bleach the roots first or whatever the f I used to say. Now it's turned into, can you please wait a second in order to bleach the root area? You know, your ends have to process to a nice yellow blonde before you can then hit the roots. You can't just do it like boom, boom, ends, roots. It doesn't work like that. You gotta let it process, babe. Once I went ahead to do the other side, it didn't take as long. So maybe in total was about maybe like a smooth 30 minutes, you know what I'm Shame. A smooth 30 minutes? Hey, that's good timing. So once everything is finished, I went ahead and did two bags for the processing cap. The first one I pressed down so that way it would help the heat and then I put the other one on regular. Hey, we got a processing cap too. I love a processing cap, except don't do what she's doing. Don't pat it down on your head. You want that air in there. You don't want to suction cup it to your head. We don't want to stack hair on top of itself or it gets too hot and then it gets too blonde and then the hair snaps off and dies and falls to the floor and then you're bald. It all happens very quickly. If your hair has fallen off or your hair is just fine, fragile, looking a little crazy, you definitely wanna make sure the inside of your body is taken care of as well as your hair on the outside. So with that said, thank you to the sponsors of today's video, Care Of. Care Of, baby, I've worked with them for so long. I've taken the vitamins for so long. It is so good. It's so easy to get vitamins that are tailored to what you need, what fits your lifestyle, what gives you more energy, more focus, more good hair. 
skin, good life. So as we transition from summer to fall, it's the perfect time to step into a new routine with your brand new vitamins. My little packet here is so cute. I'm always obsessed with these. It makes it so easy to take my four little pill vitamin things. Boop, boop, done. There's no mess, there's no opening bottles. It's very functional and very simple. I took a little quiz on Care Of's website, which you're gonna have to do too to get this. It's really easy to do. You just answer some questions and then they provide a supplement packet that is specially curated for you and your needs. You wanna know what I have? I have iron, ceramides, uh, vitamin D, uh, something called astaxanthin. Astaxanthin, I don't know what that says. It's for skin health, eye health, bone health, immune health, vegetarian health. Once I get through all these, my shit's gonna glow and my hair is gonna grow. Everything comes right to your door. You're not looking all over the place on the internet or in a drugstore to get the vitamins you need and honestly, it's so confusing. I used to try to like make my supplement packs myself and I was like, I have no idea what I'm doing. With Care Of, you have actual doctors recommending the proper supplements for you and you can just feel overall healthy from the inside out. Plus, this thing being in a little packet makes it so easy to take on the go if I don't have time for some reason to pour a little glass of water because sometimes I'm not good at time management. So I put this in my pocket. I'm like, oh, what's out of my pocket? I take it at work. I'm good. You know, if you're a mess like me, these are just great to have. So click the link right below to take the quiz and use code BRADMONDO to get 50% off your first order. 50 percent. So you can get long, luscious, beautiful, shiny, glowy hair. Because it all starts with the body. You gotta be healthy in here to have it healthy out here. Now let's get back to some tragic bleach fails. So that process took about, I want to say, a smooth 15. <laughs> it's looking really yellow. Almost orange. Don't rinse it off yet, please. Do not do that. Do not rinse it off. Do not rinse it off. Leave it on, but your roots are white because you applied them all at the same time. So don't actually leave it on. I changed my mind. You just messed it up, and now I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> so I took my hair out, and right now it has the purple scent shampoo in it. It's pretty damn blonde. The ends are a bit more autumny than the rest of the hair. We're toning with purple shampoo. Purple shampoo is it's a toner, yes, but it's really just made for maintenance. It's not made for like actual doing the real hard work, you know? I'm not gonna lie, you guys. This looks pretty good. So, so far my roots are already the color I want. It's showing up more pink corally on camera, but in real life, it's just a bit of a golden auburn. I know if her hair would make a sound, it'd be like it looks damaged just a little bit and the roots are white and they're very pretty the roots actually then the ends are like a pink color and that is from the box that she previously had on her hair and it's creating this whole mess she's gonna have to lighten those ends again or i don't know what she's gonna do she can also even out the tone by doing like kind of a root drop root shadow moment and then toning the ends with like a level seven to level eight neutralizing some of that pink out with a little tad bit of green in that formula you know probably this only makes sense for a hairstylist but that's what you would do i think when i go to do the second round of bleach I'm not gonna put any on the roots because it's already lifted. I don't need extra damage. Please don't put anything on the roots. And matter of fact, don't put anything on anywhere. It's had enough. Hello, hello, hello. It is the next day. And right now I'm showing you guys my hair. It dried really, really platinum at the root. And I noticed at the end toward my ears, it was a bit yellow. Oh, well, the back is a little more spooky than I thought it was gonna be. You got the pink, you got the orange, you got the yellow, you got the white, you got the da 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 It's a lot. I don't like to see it. It's scary. It's spooky. And it looks like she missed some spots. She's going awfully close to those roots with that lightener. It's a little scary for me. <clears throat> so your girl is fresh from rinsing the bleach out of her hair. It got light. It still wasn't really the color I wanted, but it lifted enough for me to be like, okay with it. Oh. Her hair looks gummy. I hope you also agree. I haven't seen your reaction yet, but I hope you also agree that your hair is probably disintegrated. It looks disintegrated. And I know that brush is gonna catch a lot of hair in it. My curl pattern is gone. Oh my God, it is gone, you guys. Yo, your curl pattern is gone. Just like what you said. Oh my God. I'm surprised your hair is still on your head. The ends were coming off. It wasn't any hair from the roots, but the ends were coming off. I went ahead and put in some shimmer lights. If y'all see what's on that brush, Girl, that's my hair. Oh my God, that's me. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this keeps getting worse. 
<laughs> like it was already looking crazy and then she put the toner on and then it finally started coming out. When your hair starts falling out like that, first you're gonna wanna put some bond booster, bond building sh in it, any will work. Then you're gonna rinse that off. Don't pull on your hair, don't brush it. And then once it air dries, you can finally go in for a trim. You can lightly brush it with a detangling brush, but you don't wanna do anything when it's wet because it's very fragile. I'll tell you how I'm doing, not well, bitch. <laughs> oh my god. This looks so spooky. Oh my god, what the fuck? Her roots are way over processed. I'm trying to dry this. It is so stringy. So I think I'm just gonna cut my hair and do the finger waves, which was the backup. My feelings are starting to go from like, holy shit, to like, I feel so bad. Oh no. I did cut it, I did. I am feeling like, oh, I'm feeling like. Oh, this is so cute. Like, I really feel like I'm living in my Uchi Wiley Wiley Uchi Bang Bang. Like, this gives me that. It gives me that. The look is hot. You know, the vibe is good. She's feeling herself, and I love that. I love to see the confidence wash over her with this new vibe, this new blonde hair. It looks fierce. I will say, from a professional standpoint, it's looking scary from some angles. I think we can still pull off this look with a little bit of a shorter haircut. I just think we need to get some of those orange, yellow, blonde bits off. It's still a little scary in the back. But you look great from the front and who cares about the back? Fuck the back, you know? Hopefully your hair looks better now and we don't do that again, ever. Up next, we have a video by Alexander Zewerg. So my hair used to be a really nice red color. I wanted a burgundy color. It ended up being really, really red and it's fading into pink. Oh, uh... Pink is really hard to get out of your hair. So she's gonna bleach the pink out. It's probably not gonna come out. You really just never know. Sometimes it just sticks there. It sticks forever. This is what I'm dealing with right now. It's not bad. I'm not complaining. It's a vibe. Like, it's definitely, like, grungy and cool. But I also feel like I would like to see an overall, like, blonde color on you. Like, something really bright. I'm gonna be bleaching my hair. And I have no further plan. Okay, no plan. All right. I'm gonna be using 20 volume. I'm also gonna mix it a little bit with 30 volume. Again, I don't want to dry my hair, so I'm gonna try to do things right. Okay, when you mix two developers together, typically, you just add the two numbers up. So if you're using 30 and 20, that's... 50, and then you divide it by two, which is 25. So you get a 25 volume developer. That would be probably enough for her. I'm gonna be using BW2. <laughs> I don't know, it's good. It's just so strong. Or at least that's what I've been told over the years. I feel like it's more about what you add to the lightener when you're lightening. Like, are you putting Bomb Builder in there? Are you not? Does it have it in it? A lot of lightener just lightens hair. This is what we're dealing with right now. It's not as dirty as I wish it was. Oh, she has a lot of root going on. That's gonna be a task to lighten that hair without overlapping onto the blonde peachy sections, I guess. If she overlaps, we're probably gonna see breakage, which is never desirable. Good luck, you got your hands full. Is that what the saying is? Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, don't do that. Put it down, put the brush down. This is not a virgin color application, right? So we're gonna wanna start on the darkest sections first, but not on the root. That middle sort of dark section you have going on, that's what you're gonna hit first. But this is really hard to do yourself because you really need to be in front of the section to just make sure you're painting those little pieces and nothing else. If you're doing the pink ends as well as that midsection at the same time, you're gonna not have a very matchy color at the end. You know, things are gonna be kind of like probably still pink, but like blonde pink. And then the midsection is gonna be like orange or yellow yellow or white, you know, things are going to be off. So this is all we have right now. I'm going to leave it for maybe 30 minutes. Okay, apparently she applied the whole head. I don't know. I don't really see anything going on. I don't see the lightener. Maybe it's the angle I'm at. No, I still don't see anything. I don't know what the hell happened here. If you can't see the lightener on the hair, that means you didn't put enough on. So I'm going to go if you didn't put enough on. This is what we're looking right now. So my hair is really, really, really curly. So I had to straighten it. Just a little. Definitely under process. We got some like red going on. We got some peach still. We got some yellow. Things are getting sketchier. Let's hit those dark sections with more lightener to get them up to the right level, please. My hair is dry AF. It feels so not good. Oh, it looks so dry. So, so dry. Round two. My ants are pretty white, just that they are pink, which I honestly don't mind. I still need to put bleach on them because I gotta get rid of the 
pink. I got so concentrated by doing my hair that I forgot to keep filming. All right, we're going in with the thinnest layer again of bleach, the thinnest layer possible. It's basically just like developer with no powder in it. It's gonna dry up so quickly and it's not going to process your hair properly. We need more lightener, we need more powder in that formula and we need to lay it on thick. This is me right now and I'm gonna wrap it up, wait for 30 minutes, wash it off and then I'm not gonna bleach it anymore. That's gonna dry out so quickly. You definitely wanna put a bag on there. You can also spray the inside of a bag with water so it kind of like makes it really humid inside. You don't want that lightener to dry out and lightener likes water. It likes moisture in the air. This is what my hair is looking like right now. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. I think I went too far on my roots. We got a situation on our hands. This is spooky. Work on the darkest parts first. Once that's nice and yellowy blonde, we then go on the next darkest parts. And overall, everything will be one color at some point. But you also can't see the back of your head, so I don't know how the f you're gonna do that. We gotta call in some assistance for this. This is a spooky job. I got the T14 and the Cooling Violet 050. This color, I applied it on my hair when it was absolutely bright pink. And I added this cooling violet but then it made my hair absolutely gorgeous you don't want to put violet over red it's gonna end up being like a warm purple so i ended up doing a third bleach i actually left it for 20 minutes and i think that was a mistake because i think i should have left it for 40 minutes or at least 35 this is what it looks like right now it's not dry i just got out of the shower and i still have this chunk here it's really orange the toner did nothing you're gonna have to lighten your hair again with bleach to get that crazy red pink shit out of the middle of your hair you can maybe try color remover but i just wouldn't i would just go with some more liner maybe 20 volume just to be sure your hair's not gonna snap off and a bond boosting agent like that's it i'm gonna try to apply the cooling violet that i said before because this is exactly the same color that i had when i had my hair pink and i used that cooling violet not this but this. She's toning it again. It's not gonna work! Let's see the results. It's literally straight. It looks like a wig. And you know what? I'm not mad at it. This is the result. I did a bleach bath. I bleached once to lift all the redness in my hair. I did a thousand bleaching. I do enjoy this silver color on her. I think it really complements her skin. Obviously, there is like a lot of orange and yellow in between. And for me personally, do whatever you want. You know, it's your hair, your life. I don't love when there's any yellow present in the hair when you're doing a silver color. Like the low light of the yellow and orange Ooh, it irks me so much like I want it to be all one nice even clean silver tone if we're gonna really do it but this is best case scenario for an at-home job that she just tried to do uh, it's not like I love it I don't feel like I love it and I feel like I don't want to be a cool blonde right now so I'm probably just gonna go for like an ashy blonde but I'm not gonna dye it again I'm not gonna do anything again with my hair for at least two to three weeks because I can't like I don't want my hair to fall off. I feel like I suffered a lot by doing this change because I feel like it was a lot of time. And that if I put all the amount that I paid for like every single thing, plus the hours that I spent um, doing it and treating it and putting mask and trying for it not to die and blah, 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 blah. I feel like I could have just gone to a salon and just do it. That is so true. I don't think a lot of you realize the money you pay to buy the products to do it yourself and then fix it and then fix it again. And the amount of time, which time equals money, you know, you can always make more money if you have more time. That's how I think. You might as well just go to a hairdresser at that point for another maybe $100. You can get it professionally done. But I'm glad this somewhat worked out for you next time there should be no next time cool 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 glad we agree on that i don't know if we agree but i'm hoping so what would be an amazing product for you to now use is my supernova line of products our shampoo and conditioner our hair mask and our one and only toning foam those four products are the best for maintaining your blonde hair and making it blonder more silver tone over time and kind of cooling off some of that warmth so so good my favorite stuff i love making blonde products because i'm obsessed with blonde hair and i always have had blonde hair my whole life so i know exactly what you guys need. I also linked my products right down below or go to xmondohair.com. Up next, we have a video by Lindsay Danasco. I am dyeing my hair from this red color. My natural hair is brown, like a dark brown, and I'm bleaching it and I'm trying to go platinum. As you can see, I already started the bleaching process like underneath here. Oh my God. 
There's so much going on here. She has the blonde underneath, she has the red and the root, and she has the brown, black, and everything in between, and everything is scary, and everything is really scary. She's gonna try and go platinum. I just don't know about that. So I put out this section. The section does have some blonde in it, but it's fine. Um, I'm still not sure if I'm just going to do like the top sections and then my roots. You should never not be sure about something once the lightener is mixed in a bowl, it's on the brush, and it's about to touch your hair. You you should be f sure that you know what the next step is. Or if I am going to do the bottom section too, because like I want it to be as even as possible, and especially since yesterday, like I couldn't get it super even because I didn't have exactly what I needed. <laughs> We're doing the thing right, right? We're not doing the roots first, right? It's good. I'm not gonna pause for that. But the thing is, it needs to be a, only an inch at the root that we don't. Color. Nothing more, nothing less. Normally I wouldn't do this, right? Get a comb. You wanna make sure every single strand is covered. With short hair like hers, it's gonna be very easy to just comb that lightener through to make sure everything is hit and colored. I am happy though that she's starting from the bottom and working her way up. That's gonna make things nice and easy for you. Make sure everything stays off of your face. It's crazy when you do it the other way. Okay, she's working her way around the head. She's coloring each strand. She's doing her, her thing. She's getting that lighter on there. She's being very precise with it, kind of. Actually, she's not really that much, but she is doing it and trying very hard, so I appreciate that. Okay, so now I am processing. It is getting like really blonde. Her roots for some reason do look actually pretty even, which is surprising based off of how she applied the lightener, but okay. She did not show me how she applied the roots, so to me it looks pretty good right now. I don't know if it's actually gonna come out good. Let's see. This is what we got so far. It is turning a little bit pink, which scares me because red turns into pink as we know, but honestly, like right now I'm pretty confident. I'm just not confident in the roots because I couldn't get them all very well, but. Let's keep that sound bite for later. I'm feeling pretty confident because then it's always like, um, never mind. I'm not feeling confident anymore. Actually, I fucked my head. Okay, so I just got out of the shower. As you can see, I have some really patchy spots up here, which I knew that I was going to because I literally like could not separate some of my hair to get my roots. What the fuck? What happened at the root area? Can we talk about it? Come here. What happened up there? The color is quite even. I'm not mad at it, but then we have all that patchiness. And she said she knew it was gonna happen. If you knew it was gonna happen, why don't you fix it when it happened? These are just things that you can easily fix, like comb it through. Um, there's some really orange pieces too. But then like, if you look like in here, these are like super blonde. That's what happens when you lay the hair over itself and you clump it all up to tight to your head. The underneath sections end up turning really bright white and the top ends up being like more of a yellowy orange color. We don't want to do that. I mean, it's still really patchy in there. That's what I'm going to start with when I do the next bleach and the underneath obviously has some like really, really big patches in it. Oh, she's gonna lighten it again. Just be really careful that we don't overlap onto those really light bits because they're gonna break off. Okay, so this is after this bleach. As you can see, my roots are really, really light. So it was like a lot of my other hair and I do have quite a few orange bits in here still. Luck Luckily her hair still looks healthy. She definitely needs to get some of that warmth out of some of the sections, but we could also just leave it here and do like a darker blonde and things would look even and pretty nice. I have a feeling we're not gonna do that though. We're gonna do it the hard way. I am going to tone it anyway, even though my hair is not as light as it should. I know that this is like the color that I'm looking for all over to be able to tone, but I don't really wanna go through with bleaching it again. It just feels really not good. Okay, so that is in now. So now I just gotta let it sit for like 30 minutes minutes before I rinse it out. All right, we got the toner in. It's not gonna look perfect, but it's gonna maybe be better. This is what we got. It's very super light. Um, There's still some dark spots, obviously. I'm going to come back in a couple of days for my last bleach and then tone it one more time. Um, hold on. I was gonna give my reaction to how it looks right now, but I think I'll just save it because she's now toning it again. So let's see if it makes it any better. Okay, so this is my hair all finished. It looks super white. I I am obsessed with it. This is literally the color that I was going for. Um, it has some spots here and there, but I honestly think if I just keep using purple shampoo, it should take the rest of that out. I am obsessed. It looks so much better. How in the f 
did you do that? It's not perfect, but it's very good for an at-home red black thing to platinum blonde. Oh my god. What? You got so lucky? Because you really didn't do a lot correct, but you did enough correct, I guess, to get you to that finish line. You kind of won. The top is beautiful. It's a perfect silvery platinum blonde without being too silver or too yellow. It's really pretty with your skin tone. It looks very natural on you. I'm obsessed with this color. I think it looks so much better than the dark color on you, and I say you should keep this. Wow. The transformation from this to this how how did you just do that it seemed like it was so easy for you to <laughs> good job <sighs> <laughs> I mean, that last one really kind of redeemed the whole thing. I feel like I was so f stressed. And in the last minute, I was like, wow, she actually slayed that. So thank you for that, Lindsay. Everybody else in this video, don't touch the bleach ever again. If you guys want to check out my hair color line or my hair care line, you can do so with the links right down below or go to xmondohair.com. That's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye.